presenting pretty lanisha channel hair fashion beauty hey lovelies i'm back with another video to show you how i made my onesie it's a footed drop seat onesie and i haven't seen a tutorial out there like that so we're gonna get into the pieces that we need to make patterns for now this is the butt piece that we're going to be cutting out on the onesie like the part you need your butt to fit out of now i'm not saying making this onesie is easy it is not that easy as it seems but it was definitely fun to make and basically this is the piece anyways we're gonna get into the butt flap now for the butt flap you do not have to have the triangular end piece it could just be straight like that cut it straight across but I did mine's triangular. Ugh, I wish I didn't. Anyway, I added words to my onesie, mom, dad, and son. That is optional. You do not have to do that. I repeat, you don't have to do that. But I did. Now we're getting to the foot bottom and the foot cover and the foot cover for the bag. Now this is the part that makes the onesie a little hard. If you don't have a pattern for this part, try to make this on your own. Oh my gosh, trial and error, I tell you. So basically I just traced out my husband's foot because it was easier to show it on my husband. And then I outlined where his ankle like you know where the curvature of his ankle starts and I mapped that out and then I took like a glass like a wine glass or whatever and I basically made my seam allowance from the wine glass and ruler and I cut that piece out and that's the piece that we're going to be using and you need two of those one with the regular fabric fleece fabric you're going to use and one with grip fabric now you don't have to use grip fabric but I decided to now we're going to use that pattern to make the foot cover Oh my gosh, this is the complicated part. The foot cover, you need to make sure it fits around your foot well so that it fits on your onesie well. And make sure you take your time with this part and size it on your foot. The paper, size the paper part on your foot. Trust and believe it will make a big difference when you cut out your fabric. It will fit better on the fabric. If it fits well with the paper, it fits well with the fabric. Now for this part that I'm cutting out, you're basically using the back of your onesie which we're going to get to cutting that out and you're making that pattern now i don't have exact measurement for that nor do i have exact measurement for the wristband which i use rib knit it all depends on your size that's what it depends on so these are the pieces that we're left with for the foot now we're getting into cutting out the fabric using clothing. Now I took, like you saw in the beginning of the video, I took a sweater and a pair of sweats that I thought fit me nicely. And I basically put those two together and cut out my front and back of my onesie. And I love space for seam allowance. Basically, you don't want your onesie fitting you super tight, even if you have a stretch knit. Um, well, if you do, that's your preference. Go ahead, girl. Have you a skin tight onesie? Anyway, um, this is the front and back. And once you have that, it's time to use the pattern that you made for your butt opening. And you just cut that piece out too. For the sleeves, since we already cut out the wristband knit part, you just flip that over and you just cut out the rest of the sleeve. And you need two of those, two sleeves. And then you cut out the hood and you cut out the pocket and the pocket band. You don't need a pocket band if you don't want one. You could just cut out the pocket, but I, I wanted to be extra and put a pocket band. So you put the two back pieces together and you sew it. Make sure you don't sew the all the way down to the leg. You just sew the curvature of your crotch part and going straight down the back. And don't sew around where the opening of the onesie part is, so don't do that. Just just follow the lines that I created on the screen. Just follow those and you'll be good. Now for him in the opening, once you sew the two back pieces together, I just used some knit fabric that kind of matches the onesie. And, and I sew that right sides together. So once that's sewn down, I cut out the opening and I flip it over to the back and I cut out the extra pieces that I don't need on the side. Just and then I just flip that back over to the front and I tuck in those pieces towards the back of the onesie. And that's basically finishing the hem. I'm flipping those pieces inside towards the back of the onesie and I'm top stitching that down.
And basically this is what it would look like when it's finished. Before you sew on a butt flap, you gotta sew on the letters. So I sew on my letters first. Like I said, it's optional, so you don't gotta sew nothing on. You could go straight to sew on a butt flap together. But for the butt flap, I basically sew the two fabrics, the knit and the fleece together, but leaving an opening so I can flip it inside out. And basically you're gonna have that opening at the bottom. See right there at the bottom. But it don't matter because when you sew it down to the onesie straight across, you're not gonna see it because it's gonna be tucked in. So it's gonna look flawless. See, flawless. So now I use a measuring tape to see where I wanna put my pockets at. You could also use your sweater that you already have to see where you want your pockets at. And I'm basically gonna start by, by sewing a pocket band on the, the pocket. And then once I sew that down, then I'm gonna tuck in the raw edges. Just fold them under one time and then make sure they both match up properly and then i'm gonna sew it down to the onesie so you're top stitching the pockets down to the onesie Now we're going to get into putting the zipper on. So before we put the zipper on, we have to sew the little crotch area up where you see the arrow. And then we tuck in the raw edges where we're going to lie the zipper. And then we use those pins that we use to tuck on the raw edges to pin the zipper down as you see. And then we're going to sew the zipper down using our zipper foot. And we're going to pivot around that area and keep sewing. And make sure you try to line up the pockets as best as you can. It's going to really be hard, but just try your best. Once you finish sewing the zipper down, you're going to match both of the shoulder pieces to the onesie together. And you're going to sew the shoulders down. And then we're going to sew the buttons onto the ones you use in a zigzag stitch in your button foot. Once the button is down, you're going to do the buttonhole. Now, because I sewed the fleece and the knit fabric together, the fabric was too thick to use my buttonhole foot. So I had to do it manually using a zigzag stitch. It works. It looked fine. But it's a little hard to do. But... It works just as well and once that's finished we're gonna sew on the sleeve now we're gonna I like to sew on my sleeve the way you see I don't know how to explain that you just gotta see and do slow down pause if you have to once the sleeve is sewn down you pin down the outer part where the sleeve and the rest of the body of the onesie is and you just sew straight down to the end and do the foot part of the onesie now. So you sew the back piece of the onesie and the front piece of the onesie covers together and then you pin that onto the onesie right sides facing right sides. And then you sew the grip fabrics, so the face fabrics together, wrong sides facing wrong sides. Then you pin the crotch going around towards the foot and you sew that. So you can pin the foot bottom to the onesie, as you see. So now you're going to sew the top part of the hood because I cut it on fold. So the part that's cut open, you're going to sew together. And then you're going to sew both of those right sides facing right sides. And you're going to flip that out. You're going to flip that inside out. So it could be the fleece on the outside and the, the satin on the end. And then you're going to pin that to the onesie. So you're going to pin the fleece part of the hood first, right sides facing right sides to the onesie. And then once that's sewn down, you're going to pin the silk part tucking the edges inside. And you're going to top stitch that down to the onesie. And then you're going to sew on the knitted cuff and you're done. Here's a finished onesie. I made one for my son and my husband. Yeah, we're going to be mobbing around, sleeping around, playing around. And our footed drop seat bag onesie using a bathroom and all. We super hype. Anyways, guys, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure you like if you like. Subscribe. Check out the description bar for more information. And check out my previous and next video. Until next time, lovelies. Later.